Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Sylvan Tale. Finally, I've had to go get some health. Astute viewer, you will have noticed this. And of all things, an apple because I'm kind of worried about the next boss. It's surprisingly hard. Um, really tricky boss at this stage in the game because its attacks really hurt you. The only um, cheap thing you can do to this boss is to um, get two free hits on it while it's forming. But even that, you see, that's cost me dearly. Oh. In fact, the only way you're going to get through this is, um, well, you've got grapes, mercilessly abusing your turtle form and its super dash, a technique which will be vital. Well, not the super dash part, um, in the final battle as well. Foreshadowing. Which is surprising, really, because there's a form in this game, a hidden form to some degree, um, purely designed to help you evade attacks. And the turtle ends up being more useful than that. Well, funny stuff, I suppose. Oh no, we're down. But no, what's that? It's the delicious smell of grapes. Bringing me back to life. With the force of justice! I love that animation. Oh, don't you do your mage hand thing on me. I'm gonna hit you in the heart. Or brain thingy, saucer, gelatin. I don't even, I can't even fathom what it's, oh boop, boop you, that's my computer not liking me trying to press in multiple direction keys, <laughs> wow, you just, can you just please die now, please, I'm tired, yes, burn, but boop, 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 it's a boop of victory. <laughs> Man. We've got the yellow droplet. Now we can use the semi-useful spin drill. We'll only be using it like three times. Eh. What are you going to do about the MacGuffin? Thankfully we get auto warp back to here. Okay. We've got quite a trek to the next location because the spin drill actually goes... Um, goes. It actually helps us go back and get a chest from way back. Remember that matrix area? We're going there now. Think existential thoughts. Whoa, I know warp foo. Must have worked because we're here. And now it is time for us to claim to claim our chest of goodness. How? How you say? How should we claim this treasure chest that was out of reach before that we wanted to get? What I say to you is, all we need to do is dig in the right place. And the right place... See that crack in the ground? It's pretty hard to make out. But that's where we want to go. Go, spindrel! More like a pirouette, but I'm not one to complain. Hmm. What's behind door number three? Hey, a mouse hole. Whee! Let's go in. Oh, this is one of those darkness puzzles that got me so confuddled in the way. Hint, that mouse hole you can see to your left now, it's a trap. Well, not really a trap, it's a, just a red herring. You can't actually go anywhere through that hole. You have to go this way. More. Yes! Go around you and you. See? You can't actually, you don't get anything. Nada! Zip! Why have I equipped the flowers? Just because I felt like it. Oranged! But what's this? Whoa. Stay away from me. There's another door? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. What's in this chest? <gasps> it's the rock's feather! No, it's not. It's a floating stone. Does not actually let you jump, unfortunately. The floating stone... You don't know what it does when you collect it, and there's no information given. It changes something somewhere in the game. Deja vu. Um, which will be vital to unlocking something of a secret form in this game which we should hopefully be seeing quite briefly. 
Okay, we need to go all the way back to Flora. We have a rather watery date with the waterfall. I'll see you back there. Think watery thoughts. Ugh, I said watery thoughts, not watery forts. Just think of a waterfall, okay? This is the dangerous area and we can't come here yet. Ah, <sighs> that's much better. Good old waterfalls. You got it right this time, I'm happy to report. Man! Crabs ahoy. Delicious. Do, do, do. We have to meet the residents of this waterfall, for they can impart to us very useful information. In the waterfall labyrinth. Now this is one of those labyrinths you're going to have to come back to a little bit later because right now our progress is barred. Where we want to go is in here. Ah, it's mice! What are the hourglass? Supposed to be in the western desert. Being so small can be a pain. Why do you like to trigger switches and stuff? Why, thank you for that contextual advice. Ella, speak to the mouse, Elder. Anything around here? No. If you wanna get anywhere, you'll need the hourglass. Well, thank you for that, mouse, Elder. Is any? Oh man, I wanna try something else. I guess you can't change into anything once you're in the uh, the mouse hole, in case you grow large and then destroy the place. <laughs> yeah, this is something that one of the other mice tells you about. The life powder! Let me just add a little of my secret formula. Voila! Mm -mm. <clears throat> We've got the purifying powder with the old mouse's special formula inside it. We can clean up poison water with this, and it's still viable as a tree get better supplement as I believe the technical term for it is. No! Don't eat the apple! Good mouse. There is, um, I'll just show you what's up here actually, may as well. We've got time. If you go all the way over here, there's a, a thing you can't run up and there's a clear hourglass symbol. You'll need the hourglass to uh, stop time so you can get up there. There's a little mouse hole that's hidden up there that leads you to a chest with two cherries, but we don't want to get that just yet. We'll uh, use it if we need it. Whoa, you can just about make me out here. Okay, we've got one final location to go to. Um, because the journey's kind of arduous, we'll just think Flora Village. It's quite easy. And let's go there. Once again, congratulations to you. We are in Flora Village and ready to bust into the other area that goes off it. This will lead us to uh, the desert eventually. You can look on the map, there's like a big desert this way. Yep, desert time and loads of whirlwind ghosts, anthill areas um, which just suck you down and sand currents, loads of crazy stuff. In there, the desert labyrinth, which you want to go to, but first First, a little area over here that we should check out. Seems just like an ordinary area, but those four pillars look kind of interesting. This is what happens when we equip the floating stone. You can see there's some sort of hidden palace shindig going on up there. And this is where you'll get the final transformation of the game, which is kind of hidden because you uh, you don't need it to complete it. The art of the bird. Now the seed may be his wings in the sky. It looks really cool. It's a shame because this should be one of the best transformations in the game, but it really isn't. I am of the opinion that a couple of things, like this bird's secondary attack, which you, you can't get, you don't get a secondary attack for the bird, were, were left out because of time pressures. But look, the animation is really cool. And this will let you avoid enemies. So if I just fly over these dudes, I'm not being hurt. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's flap away. Oh, Snakey, you're not getting me. Next time on Let's Play. <laughs> 
Sylvan Tale, we go into the Desert Labyrinth. A very unusual labyrinth, because it's the only one, I think, without a boss. But something very important lies within. Till next time, ciao. Get away from me, you crazy snake!